easy, you know, and then other areas, it was absolutely beautiful, like Table Rock State Park, just absolutely gorgeous. But I know some people that they're, they're going to be a little bit worried because the ground is so saturated right now. And I know you said we're expecting rain. I'm a little bit worried. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and uh, that is completely founded because we've got several more batches of rain this week and uh, we can't really afford to gain much more rain given the state of our soil. Here's some of our snow totals from today. We had up to eight inches in parts of the higher elevations of Rabin County, Georgia. Tacoa, though, just to the south, four and a half inches for you, four and a half in Mountain Rest, which is in Oconee County, Westminster in Oconee County, four inches for you and much smaller amounts as you headed farther east toward Greenville County, a little less than an inch at GSP International Airport. Of course, none of that accumulating on pavement, only that stuff in Oconee County and at Northeast Georgia was the one that accumulated on pavement. Time being, as you can see, not much on radar, but it's not being detected, but we've got some lingering light snowfall along the Tennessee line, so some additional snow cover on area roads up there are possible. But in terms of the greater viewing area outside of that area, we are snow free. One thing we're not free of, though, is patchy fog. We're down to three mile visibilities up north in Franklin. Some thick fog, very patchy, but still some lower visibilities in our northeast Georgia counties. The rest of the area not looking too bad as we see it now, but some very thick fog being seen not far away southwest to near Atlanta or just that general vicinity. So 85 south toward Atlanta is going to be slow going in the morning because of that lowered visibility. Temperatures are in the 30s and upper 20s, 28 degrees in Franklin, the lower and middle 30s across the upstate, 35 in Green, uh, downtown Greenville, 37 for the time being in Lawrence. So we're going to get a little cooler, but our clouds aren't going to allow us to get really too cold. Southwest wind doesn't hurt either. 31 year low temperature, patchy black ice and areas of fog, some of which that could also freeze to those uh, bridges and overpasses as well as any untreated roads, secondary roads. So uh, take it slow in the morning. It's going to be very patchy just because we're not going to be that below freezing, but some spots a little more so than others like the mountains. 27 will be your low temperature. So a very chilly and in some cases foggy start to your Sunday. But other than that, gorgeous weather. Lots of sunshine, highs in the lower and middle 50s. So we're going to do a lot of melting tomorrow to where we're probably going to be without any snow on the landscape by the end of the day tomorrow. Now let's look ahead to this uh, very active week of weather. Our unsettled pattern is far from over. We'll fast forward to Monday after tomorrow's gorgeous day. Showers will begin developing along a cold front that's eventually going to stall over the area. So that's going to slowly drift to the southeast throughout the day on Monday, and that's going to gradually pick up activity and rain and intensity as well. So some heavy rain is likely Monday evening through most of the day on Tuesday. That batch of moisture moves out and then that front is going to retreat back to the north and the west and we get another batch of moisture bring scattering, bringing scattered showers on Wednesday and then the final push is with a cold front that's going to bring the final round of rain through the area Wednesday night into Thursday morning and then finally exiting by Friday morning. So a couple of solid batches of rain that's going to ultimately deliver another three to seven inches through those four days and as a matter of fact, the Weather Prediction Center has put out a day three marginal risk, or I should say a moderate risk for areas west of Asheville and Greenville. So this is some of the same area that suffered from flooding on Thursday. So we hope that this doesn't get too bad, but it's always concerning when we see anything that involves any sort of excessive rain. So that risk is out for Monday. So beware of that possibility on Monday. Looking at that seven day forecast Monday into Tuesday, good chance for widespread heavy rain, scattered showers Wednesday, lingering into Thursday. We're dry, but a little bit cooler on Friday for Valentine's Day, but next weekend looks to be off to a good start.